Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with our last break of the night. We'll be back tomorrow, though, to do more. We're going to do Pick Your Team 6 on Saturday the 12th. Big thanks to Thomas for that double, triple, quadruple last spot mojo. He got the last four teams all at once, so thank you very much for that. Appreciate it. And thanks to everybody who helped fill up this break. There's another fresh case right there. Settle in, folks. Good luck. Uh huh. Nice. You see that? Clean. <laughs> These are the little things in life, ladies and gentlemen. You get to appreciate the little things, like a nice, smooth unveil right here of the boxes. <laughs> Pick your team six. Good luck. Oh, I'll put this on on wax too. We're doing well on our uh, on our contenders football bingo, ladies and gentlemen. Now, if we get the last one, bingo, I'll add $40 to that break credit promo that we have going on tonight. So that means we're also rooting for, uh, for Ricky Holbert, who's watching live this late at night on a Saturday. Thanks, Ricky. Who has the, he bought the Jets. Now, if he's lucky enough, he may end up with a Sam Darnold autograph and maybe win some break credit that would be a night so good luck to him good luck to everyone of course well I know we, we've been watching and talking about all the games that were happening today Kansas City took care of business they cruised to a 31-13 victory a palindrome score, 1 3 3 1. And the Rams also took care of business, 30 to 22. Although there were moments where the Cowboys were pretty close, but they couldn't, they just couldn't take, take uh, advantage of some opportunities there. They almost covered, actually. But in the end, the Rams. Won 30 to 22. That 17 point second quarter kind of derailed the uh, the Cowboys a bit there. We'll talk about the uh, the tomorrow's games in the next box. Good luck, everybody, in this box, our first box. And it's going to be Riley McCarran. Any relation to AJ McCarran? Nice. There's Tremaine Edmonds. Remember that Tremaine and Terrell Edmonds auto dual auto we saw? I thought that was pretty cool. This one goes to the Bills. Joseph with that one. There you go, Joe. Jersey Joe P. And on the action. And nice. On card auto Nick Chubb. We have not seen too many Nick Chubbs. That goes to Thomas Howell and the Browns. That might be our first Chubb, right? No, I think we saw we saw we saw Nick Chubb once before. I don't think we've seen a Bradley Chubb yet. Jameis Winston goes to Thomas and the Buccaneers, and we've got Durham Smythe for the Dolphins. That will be for Thomas as well.
And a plate. And an autograph for the Packers. Look at that. Jay Kumro for Jeremy Scott and the Packers and a train whistle. Wake up the house, Jeremy. Train whistle time. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Nice. Wake up the neighborhood. This will be a left right randomizer. <laughs> he just did. I mean, I know it's just Jake, but still. I wish it was like a Brett Favre, but... Train whistle's a train whistle, my friend. There you go. Thanks for getting in, Jeremy. First of many in this break, I hope. All right, there you go. That's, that kind of wakes you up a little bit. <laughs> I'll be honest with you guys. I'm running out of steam. Um, but uh, first box, right? Train whistle in the first box. That'll get that'll get you fired up. I could I could use a train whistle every few boxes. All right? That'll 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 get this. That'll get us to the end really nicely. Uh, I, we have pulled some Mahomes ink out of here, FanDuel. Jared, we uh, we got sophomore contenders, I think it was. Maybe the last pick your team or a couple pick your teams ago. I don't remember. It all blurs in together, but I know we got one today. All right, box two. Out of 75, Josh Allen. Marcus Bob. That goes to my Raiders. That'll be for Thomas, who has my Raiders. And it's still a jet, though. Out of 99, Trenton Cannon. Trenton Cannon, Jets. Ricky Holbert with the Jets. I'm looking for a different jet, his teammate. Got fake Matt Ryan, Kurt Benkert. That goes to Thomas and the Falcons. Andrew Luck does look like a. I'm watching his post game presser. He does look like a Civil War captain. Roquan Smith, rookie ticket autograph for Patrick Edwards and the Bears. The redemption is going to be, bam, carry on Johnson. Carry on my wayward son. Thomas with the, with the Lions. It's one of his last spot mojo teams too. There you go. Next box, box three. That's 
That's right. It's all. It's always because of bad luck when the Colts lose. This is true. It's true, Rex. Uh, who does everyone have for tomorrow in the morning? At morning for me. On the West Coast, we watch our games in the morning. The early games in the morning. 10 a.m. I don't know if I'll be awake for that. Maybe. 10 a.m. Chargers at New England. Who does everyone have in that game? What do you think? Who do you have? What do you think? What are the keys to the game? Chargers? Pretty well-balanced team. Like the <laughs> I said that about the Colts, but they didn't win today. But Chargers are a well-balanced team, but maybe a little bit better than the Colts, I would say. Got Phillip Rivers playing well. Keenan Allen, healthy. Mike Williams coming into play, being a lot more effective. Got Tyrell Williams, you know, can pop up out of nowhere with a big play. Melvin Gordon, healthy. Got a, got a solid defense. Got Derwin James back there. So there's a lot to like for the Chargers, but they are playing their umpteenth road game in a row in, in inclement weather. That's gonna be that's gonna be a tough one. Lou says Chargers. Five says Chargers. Denver Broncos in the 808 says Chargers. There's Luke Falk, rookie ticket autograph. Joey Bosa, right? He's he's a uh, he's bolstered that defense since he started playing. Came off that thumb surgery injury or whatever it was that he had. So Joey Bosa could be disrupting plays, offensive plays for the Patriots, but it's the Patriots in the playoffs at home with Belichick and Brady. You know, they, they got the schemes. They're, they just get it right. Out of 99 Cam Newton, they just get it right. Nice Liam Hines to 42. Ticket stub, autograph, going to the Colts. Robert, watch the throne. They are, they are, they are, are, they are cheaters. There's Kimoko Toure also for Robert and the Colts. But Brady looks a little bit older. Josh Jackson, more Packers for uh, Jeremy Scott. You know, who's their big play guy? Gronk doesn't look like Gronk anymore. Interestingly enough, they may be relying on that run game. Speaking of the Patriots, there's Braxton Barrios. So James White, Sony Michelle. They might want to try to control the game a little bit with that running attack. That might be what's effective. So... Five and six autos right here. It is, Jason, our last case of the night. This will take us right to the end of the broadcast. <laughs> How often does this happen? Uh, veteran cracked ice ticket autograph, Rob Gronkowski. We were just talking about you, Rob. Patriots, Tom Richard. It's kind of weird. Fantastic career for Rob Gronkowski. I'm not diminishing that. I'm not diminishing his career. Just saying at the sunset of his career. But nice crack. I wish this was live. Sign your cards, Gronk. You got plenty of time. All right. Next box.
We are 25% done with this break, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Five like I can't wait for the Brady Belichick era to be over. Me too. Me too. As a uh, as a Raider fan, it was the Tuck Rule game many moons ago that kind of ignited. I think that was the first one that ignited the Tom Brady era and Belichick era. I'll take some responsibility for that. But that's what kicked it off. And then since then, I've seen my Raiders steadily decline and the Patriots steadily climb. And it's been, how long has that been? <laughs> Over, over 10 years of this? I mean, listen. It's impressive. In this, in this day and age where, you know, salary, I, I mean, salary caps, player egos, you got to hit on the drafts. You know, you're not, like, the NFL's designed for parity, right? You can't stay on top for that long. The system is not built for that because of salary caps and because Patriots have been drafting at the bottom of the first round for ages now. So it's an incredible run. Winner take all on the points. Um, I listen to uh, Bill Simmons every once in a while, his podcast on the Ringer Network. More Packers for Jeremy Scott. On card auto this time. One per box on card auto. Marquez Valdez Scantling. And he thinks that, you know, obviously the, the we're seeing the beginning of the end, right? A lot of turmoil in the front office last year between Brady and Belichick and whatnot. The Garoppolo trade, this and that. Now you're seeing, you know, Tom Brady looking a little older, not looking as sharp. Gronkowski's powers much limited. There's Auden Tate for the Bengals, Conrad, with that one. All right? Their receivers, you know, they're trying to find big play receivers. They move Brandon Cooks. They get Josh Gordon. That's not working out, you know. So it hasn't really been the most pristine. They're still a solid team, better than most, but. It's not the pristine-looking Patriots that we come to know and love. Love? Carlton Davis, Buccaneers. That goes to Lee. So the beginning of the end is there. So Bill Simmons keeps saying that, that he sees it too. As a, he's, all, he's obviously a big Boston guy living here in L.A. And he's like, man, I think the big miss that will haunt, that will haunt the Patriots forever is not taking is not taking Lamar Jackson. Think about it. Remember, they, have a, they had a chance at Lamar Jackson multiple times, I want to say. There's my boy Colton Miller, 54 out of 77. Former UCLA offensive lineman. Going to the Raiders. Thomas with that one. Take a stub edge. Imagine if they had Lamar Jackson. Knowing, knowing what we know now of how, how well he could play. And nice, we've been pulling some Dar a lot of Darius Leonard's lately. Nice Darius Leonard. That goes to Robert and the Colts. Five saying this is the last year. Their last chance at winning a, winning a Super Bowl. Cra the crazy thing is, is that I think they could still do it. Even with all the faults that we've just checkmarked off of the Patriots. I mean, they can still, they could still do it. That's the crazy thing. Right? Chargers on the road, in cold weather, blah, blah, blah. You know, they lose to the Patriots at home, right? Because of their home field advantage and they'll be fired up, right? They're going to meet Kansas City. Kansas City, you know, Andy Reid does Andy Reid things. You know, Patrick Mahomes realizes that he's only a 23-year-old quarterback. 
the experience of Brady beats him out. Kansas City's defense falls apart. Next thing you know, the Patriots are in the freaking Super Bowl again. Right? <laughs> and the Rams and the and the Saints will beat up on each other. You know. And then the inexperience of Jared Goff or, or, or old Drew Brees or something like that. Can't hack it against the stupid Patriots. Boom, Patriots win another one. <laughs> like... That's like the that's a pod, that's not a crazy scenario I think. I don't think that's insane. And the narrative will be I mean Fife's like I can see it happening. The narrative will be crazy. The narrative will be will be somehow be, and then it'll be, imagine all the the media just sucking up to Bill Belichick and his genius would be like, "Man, Bel Belichick in the face of an aging Tom Brady somehow uses the combo of Sony Michelle and James White to turn the Patriots into a ground and pound kind of team, controlling the clock, timely throws from Mastercraft, Mastercraft Brady, blah, 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 blah. I know, I'm so, I, I feel sick too, Jeremy Scott. Jeremy's like, stop, Joe, I'm getting sick. There's Sam Darnold to 25. We, we want to find his autograph. Ugh. I gotta stop that. But don't worry, folks. The point I'm getting to is that that this is the end for the Patriots. Even Bill Simmons is saying it. There's Dorian O'Daniel for the Chiefs. That'll go to Jared. Because they missed out on Lamar Jackson. Brady's gonna be gone. Gronk's gonna be gone. You know? The trouble is that AFC East is kinda crappy. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, listen, a couple years ago, that Jets team didn't look too bad. Todd, that Todd Bowles team, not this year, but the year before, there's Shaquem Griffin for the Seahawks. Cruz with that one. Didn't look too bad. You know, I think they won like five or six games. Their defense looked strong. They were covering a lot of games too because they played hard until the end. Just didn't quite work out this year. But that, those AFC East teams have to step up. Nice. Cracked Ice Kike Kuti on card autograph. 17, just one off his jersey number as usual, to 24. Nice. So that goes to Thomas and the Texans. There you go, Thomas. Nice. He had a nice season this year. Nice playoff game once he was healthy. And more Texans. At a 99, Jordan Thomas for Thomas. Five saying, part of me thinks we'll see we'll see old Tommy slinging it old school style in the playoffs. He's just been trolling us all year. Pretending like he doesn't know how to throw the ball anymore. And then Brady just goes around and just, just slings it around the field. There's Dietrich Newsom. For the Chargers, that goes to Moody. <laughs> Rob Gronkowski, like at the end of Usual Suspects, you know, goes from a crippled walk into, into something legendary. But that era is almost over. They cannot outrun Father Time. What's that old cliche? Father Time is undefeated. Good luck, everybody. Kaiser Soze. Folks, if you've not watched, I know we, we've got some younger people in our audience, too. If you've not watched Usual Suspects, is it family friendly? Oh, there's a lot of cursing, but I guess the violence isn't too much more than what it is these days. Ask your parents if you're under 18, but it's worth a watch. Usual Suspects. 
pretty great. You guys, I think I'm going Chargers tomorrow. I think I'm taking Chargers plus the points. Just because I want to I want to be able to say I put money on the team. You know, I put money on the game where the dynasty ended. I need like 5 bucks. <laughs> What am I doing in that Eagles game, you guys? What am I doing? What are we doing in that Eagles game? It may take a couple Jamesons for me to figure this out tonight. Philadelphia has no chance, right? But I don't know. That defense has been improving. Cowboy showed that Thursday night that the Saints can be got. Breeze isn't really throwing it around that much. If there's one thing that that the Chargers can stop. Or the, sorry, I was listening to the TV. There's Denzel Ward for the Browns. Nice. Thomas Howell. If there's one thing that the Eagles can do is, is stop the run, which is what the Saints like to do. Now, the... Oh, what's this? Nice guys. I don't think we've seen this design here. That's pretty cool. 12 out of 20. This one's a keeper, TJ Poyer, because because everyone was uh, was really high on Darius Geis, all the preseason fantasy guys, and even Redskins fans and everything. But then, like, he destroyed his knee or something like that. And, but if he comes back healthy next year, I guess the good the silver lining is that he did it early enough where he'll be ready to go next season. So, so that's a keeper, TJ Poor. That's a nice guy. There's Richard Sherman, Niners edition to 175. There is Armani Watts for the Chiefs. That'll be for Jared. Uh, Rex says, I heard the scene where they were laughing like crazy. That wasn't scripted. They were all farting in the room. They couldn't stop. That must have been the uh, the lineup scene where they were all lined up. And I said it was, I think it was all, I think I heard that story too. That must, I think I actually heard that in like the, uh, in the, uh, like the audio commentary or the behind the scenes, whatever on the DVD. There's Chase Litton. Yeah, during the lineup, right? And I also think it was not only that, but I think it was also um, it also it was also Benicio del Toro's like wacky voice that he used for his character. <laughs> Give me the keys, you matter. <laughs> in English, please. Ah, it is in English. What? Fake Tom Brady. All right, one, two, three, four, five. There you go. Patriots auto going to Tom Richard. That that's that's the that's the only thing that uh that kind of sullies that movie a little bit. <laughs> is Brian is, is creepy creepy Brian Singer and creepy Kevin Spacey.
No, I haven't. What? What is that? What's an open secret? What is that? All right, we're just about halfway through the break, folks. We're getting there. We're getting there. We got Billy Price. And Riley McCarron. Billy Price going to the Bengals for Conrad. And Riley McCarron going to Tom and the Patriots. So one of the biggest parts of Usual Suspects is a case that Singer was involved in? Okay, I'm intrigued. I'll have to check that. I'll have to dig that up. Is that on the Is that on the uh, on the YouTube, on the Netflix, on the Prime? I don't have the Hulu. Out of 25, legendary contenders Emmett Smith for the Cowboys. And we got a Tremaine Edmonds for the Bills. That'll be for Joseph P. The YouTube. All right, I'll have to check that out. Denver, you, you feel a Bradley Chubb coming on? <laughs> there he is. No, that's Royce Freeman. Damn it. Rookie ticket autograph. There's there's no P's in this uh, in this set though. Just FYI. There's R's and there is A's, but there's no P's. Royce Freeman though is going to Bryson and the Broncos. That's the one on-card auto per box. Winner take all on the points. That'll probably take the place of an auto, right? Yeah, it will. Wow. I didn't see this part in the pregame. Uh, I may have to Google it to find an alternate stream. All right, an open secret, usual suspects. Just watch, they're, they're replaying the, uh, the, the Colts Chiefs game. The, the stadium has heaters underneath the field to keep the field temperature at like at least 30 or 40 degrees or something like that. That is crazy. What's the heating bill in that place? Can you imagine? Whether it's gas or electricity, I don't know how they, what powers it, but can you imagine? Too many things I have to watch, Rex. What do I have, what do I have to watch now? The new Conan O'Brien show on Netflix called Beyond Borders Goes to Different Countries. Oh. I've heard of that. That sounds kind of funny. I saw his, when he was doing the Conan O'Brien show in Korea. I think there were, there were some funny episodes from that. Some funny bits from that. Um, 
Also, I, I keep cracking up thinking about Conan O'Brien in Korea. He would definitely stick out like a sore thumb. And there's a lot of Americans there, too. It would just, it would just be funny. Legendary contenders, Terry Bradshaw to 49. I've been listening to his podcast, actually, um, called Conan O'Brien Needs a Friend, which has been interesting. I've only listened to a couple episodes, but it seems all right. Will Ferrell was episode one, I think. There's Micah Kaiser, championship ticket to 49. And I listened to Kristen Bell one. Both are, both are pretty funny. All right, so that goes to the Rams. That'll be for Lou. We got another rookie ticket autograph, Billy Price for Conrad. There's Ray Ray McLeod. Speaking of Conan O'Brien, there's one Conan O'Brien thing that maybe you've seen, Rex, is where after he was unceremoniously let go by NBC from the Tonight Show job, and he was kind of in that limbo, and then he went out on tour and did that tour. Um, I forgot what that what that document. It's a kind of a, it is a documentary. What it, I forgot what it's called, but. It's pretty good. I think it shows a pretty interesting insight into that period of his life as Josh Adams. Um, in that period of his life and just kind of how, I guess, he operates creatively, which I think is usually more interesting to me than the actual shows themselves. Nice playoff ticket, on-card auto, Rashad Penny. He signs his cards now. That goes to that goes to Cruz. I think Conan kind of comes off as a bit of a a D, but you know I think that's just. Oh, you did see it? Yeah, yeah. It did affect him pretty bad. I mean, I I, th I think you know he's been such a good NBC soldier for so long, but then you know they kind of screwed him. A little bit. But he's a big Johnny Carson fan, so he like it was a dream job for him. Derwin James is your redemption. That goes to the Chargers. That goes to Moody. We'll see Derwin James in action tomorrow morning. All right, next box. We're getting there, folks. We're getting there. Closer and closer. We'll be done in about oh, 20 minutes or so. Then we'll do the break credit promo. We'll give away a little money. Then we'll call it a night. Now, I know that Dominion basketball is full. We just ran out of time. That will break tomorrow. So join, join us tomorrow for that one. We'll break seven nights a week now. Not at all. The major holidays are over, and we're, we're now back in the regular, regular schedule. I don't think there's going to be any major holidays, kind of uh, at least any major holidays affecting our schedule for a little while. And I think Christmas and New Year's kind of fell on weird days in 2018. Kind of fell on a weird days, so it was hard to wrap like a weekend. Hard, kind of hard to wrap a weekend around there, and so the holiday schedule is a little odd. Um, three o'clock Pacific, Tuesdays through Saturdays, and then around five o'clock Pacific on Sundays and Mondays. During the football season, it would have been about half an hour before Sunday night football and about half an hour before Monday night football. All right, we got the Cowboys. Rod Smith is your first auto. That goes to Patrick Edwards and the boys. Denico 
And we got a playoff ticket, Jordan Mylata autograph to 99. Nice one for the Eagles. Thomas, last spot mojo. Six eight three forty six. How many Joes would that be? That'd be like three Joes, right? Quadri Henderson. Even with the extra LBSs I've been carrying. Quadri Henderson for the New York Football Giants. That goes to Nicholas Casper. See, every time I flip these back this way, then it just goes back the other way. Bengals, Conrad, Malik Jefferson. Michael Crabtree to 175. Boom! Saquon Barkley, Nicholas Kasberg, wake up! New York football giant Saquon Barkley on card auto. Nice. No, Nicholas Kasberg's asleep. Good morning, Nicholas. Good morning. You have a Saquon Barkley. That's our That's our third Barkley of the day. Huh. Nice. There he is. Nicholas Kasberg's awake. Nice. He says, congrats. It's a big hit. Rewarded for staying up late. There you go. All right, good luck, ladies and gents. You're welcome, Nicholas. Thanks, Joe Pa, he says. Did anyone see that uh, that movie with, uh, with Al Pacino as Joe Paterno? Was that any good? Rex is asking, why is Joe Buck hated in baseball but not so hated in football? I don't think he has as much time to talk in a football game, Rex. In baseball, he gets time to talk. The more he talks... I don't know. I don't know why... Uh, there's just something about Joe Buck's style that... that I'm sure people like, I guess, because he gets hired and paid gets paid a lot of money to broadcast games. Um, and I'm sure not all of that's just off of his name. His, and his dad but uh, but I don't know I mean I, I, I personally don't like his style in, in baseball there's Jimmy Garoppolo to 175 Garoppolo, of course, will go to uh, the Niners. A lot of points, actually. So winner take all the points. I'll be a randomizer at the end. We got fake Josh Rosen to 99 for Darren Porter. 
Is Riley Chubby even in this? I feel, we haven't we've done dozens of these boxes. I I feel like I have not seen Bradley Chubb or a Philip Lindsay. Does he exist in this set, Chad? Durham Smythe, one per case Durham Smythe, rookie ticket autograph for the for the Thomas and the Dolphins. Nice, Chad. A base Philip Lindsay autograph sold for three seventy five. He must be shorter printed because we haven't seen him yet. We've seen a couple Royce Freemans, but there's Harrison Phillips. We've seen a lot of Harrison Phillips. Joseph and the Bills. Oh, Chubb, Bradley Chubbs are redemptions. Interesting. We got Taven Bryan to ninety nine. That'll go to the Jaggy Wires, Robert Aguilar, with that. And more Bengals. Mark Walton is your on card to 99. Playoff ticket autograph. Playoffs for uh, Cincinnati Bengals. Conrad did that. You know, someone was saying, I think it was Steve Freeze or somebody, who is our uh, one of our longtime customers and a longtime Broncos fan. And he was saying... And I remember him distinctly, him saying in the preseason that he wouldn't be surprised if, if that, if Philip Rivers, tur Philip Rivers, Philip Lindsay turned out to be like the big name, like the big sleeper name and maybe a big name in the hobby by the time the season was done. So it looked like that's the case. Portland Sutton could be interesting too. Autograph five. It, it seems it seems like it seems like Lamar Jackson autographs have been selling like hotcakes. He you saved your fantasy season, says Chad. Nice, Greg. Yeah, that should be that should that should sell like hotcakes. Five are you in Ohio? I didn't even look at your address when you placed it. Are you in Ohio? Yeah, I see your Ohio State logo there. I was born in Youngstown, or Warren, Ohio. Actually. I actually won my fantasy this year, Chad, believe it or not. After two years of winning maybe a combined three or four games in the last two seasons, I finally won it all this season. Oh, from Ohio, but currently in West Virginia. Nice. And Chad's in Toledo. Right. I, th I think I knew that. Yeah, I was born my, born in Warren, Ohio. Which is right next to Youngstown. Nice TJ Watt. We haven't seen TJ Watt. Championship ticket autograph. 49 Steelers. Michael Gallucci. Steel Curtain and the Steelers. So I've got a little soft spot in my... Uh, my folks moved to California when I was like two years old or something like that, so... I have no recollection of, of that aside from aside from pictures. Twenty four out twenty five, rookie of the year contenders. Ronald Jones is second. Another two on card autographs in this one goes to Thomas and the Buccaneers. And more Chase Edmonds for Darren and the Cardinals. Nice. 
And we got for the Titans, Austin Prohl, rookie ticket autograph. It's also for Thomas. I think, have all of your last spot mojo teams hit, Thomas? I think they might have. Sorry, I've got at least one for each of your last spot mojo teams. There's Josh Sweat. For sure you did now. Eagles, Thomas, last spot mojo. Five says, when you were listing your out of 49 on eBay, there was a guy that listed it, listed his at 450? What a deal. Or best offer, you contacted him and told him he should up his price. <laughs> good, that, that's actually good for the hobby. I hate it when, when like, when, you know, when someone just gets desperate for the money and then undersells like, like the hot rookie of the day and that just screws everybody. And that screws the whole market. Because then there'll always be that guy that sells it for 25% cheaper, and then you'll always then your your card gets lowballed, and the guy's like, "Well, that guy sold it for 25% cheaper, 30% cheaper," and be like, uh, "Yeah, but <laughs> that guy was a dumb. He was a, he he was a, he was a dumb ski. Like, not my fault that Jabroni put up." <laughs> Put that card up for, for that amount and, and took it. Even that feels low, doesn't it? 750? Some weren't some of the guys saying base auto or no, they were saying cracked ice Lamar Jackson autos were grand. So or plus. Twelve maybe. Okay, so the out of forty nine seven yeah, good. That 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 that's a better price. Mr. Fife, good. I like that. Making sure that the uh the values hold strong in the hobby because that's good for everybody. Good for everybody. Is that what, is that what happened to Acuna Dynasty autographs? Like someone sold it for thirty percent too cheap. Listen, I I can understand like fluctuations here and there. You know what I mean? Like, you know, five. Lamar Jackson may sell for, for seven and someone else's may sell for eight. Who knows? You know, but or vice versa, you know what I mean? But that kind of variance I can handle, but not when people are like off by hundreds of dollars. needs to be some sort of I feel like there needs to be some sort of community for that like a central locate not for not for price fi I guess the concern is price fixing not for price fixing but you know just trying to trying to help each other out by making sure that you're not underpricing things too significantly Sam Hubbard for Conrad is your first autograph out of the last box, ladies and gentlemen. So for the Acunas, what happened, Chad? Everyone started at eight, then two auctions went for five, then after five more auctions it was down to three fifty. The auctions are tough too, because some people have like crappy auction listings, set them at bad times, you know, have crappy pictures. That helps no one either. Justin Jones, rookie ticket autograph. One of, one of, I've mentioned this before, one of our kind of, I don't know if this idea that I'm about to tell you is going to happen anytime soon, but an idea that I've always kicked around that I would love is selling your hits on Jaspies, like oh, jaspiescasebreaks.com or whatever, or have some sort of, some sort of simple auction-y kind of site, right? So, I mean, we probably wouldn't do it for, sorry, TJ Poirier, we probably wouldn't do it for Cam Sims, you know what I mean? But let's say we pulled that Lamar Jackson for Fife or something like that out of 49. You know, we can take the nice pictures, we can post it on our site, and someone could buy it straight up. There's Dorrance Armstrong Jr. We're going to end with a bang? Ladies and gentlemen, I think so. 
Dorrance Armstrong Jr., Patrick Edwards, and the Cowboys. That's our fourth autograph. Our fifth autograph out of the box. The Butcher, the Baker, the Candlestick Maker. Thomas Howell with the Cleveland Browns. You'll be howling about this hit. Oh! Nice. This has been a pretty solid break, ladies and gentlemen. I was really nervous that last break of the night, I'll be, I'm running out of steam. I and I, you know, I thought, oh boy, this better not be a bad case. I better not have picked a bad case. I better not have eeny meeny miny mowed the bad case, because then it'll just be it'll just be grueling. Luke Keekley to one seventy five. We do have a buy, sell, trade Facebook page, but that's like a second place that you have to go to. If it can be all contained within Jaspi in like one website, so you don't have to go to four different places, it'd be kind of cool. But that's a long ways out. That's just a kind of a long-term pipe dream type idea. All right, nice way to end it, folks. That was pick your team number six. We've got... A left-right randomizer, plus the points right there. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone, for getting into it. Left-right randomizer on those cards. I don't think there are any serial numbered versions of those. Darren down to TJ Poyer. And everyone in between has a shot at uh, that good clutch of points right there. After five times, two and a three, one, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. Left side will get those. And five times for the points. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. After five times, Cruz will get the points. Right there. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for getting into it. That was Pick Your Team 6. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.